Hi guys, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube e <laughs> my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, please press the like button, please do subscribe. We're here in my flat on a lovely Thursday evening. I don't go out drinking, I don't go to clubs. I just like a nice quiet uh, evening indoors by myself. I don't involve myself in drugs, drink or thieving. So I'm quite happy indoors by myself. I'm a middle-aged woman and the nightlife for me, I'm, I'm a middle-aged woman. I don't go out night clubbing. I don't go out in the evening at all. I've already told someone I don't feel safe by myself outside. So we're going to go through what's happened this evening, right? And it won't stop because the police don't do anything. It won't stop till I move out of here, away from the guy upstairs, which I'm trying to do. I've bid on a property. And the more this crap goes on, the more I will concentrate on moving out of Rochester. Right? I'm sick to death of it. I'm tired, I'm an older woman, I just want to be left alone. I don't want to get involved in fights, I don't want to shout at people. I just want to enjoy the rest of my evening, right? This has been going on for years, I'm sick and tired of it. And I just want to relax in the evening, watch a film, because that's what I want to do. I don't know whether <laughs> it's... Um, Nicole Carter said she thought it was a group of people involved in doing it, not just one, because the amount of the bullying that's going on, it must involve a group of people, male and female, bullying. Right. So I was in my flat and I got a message. So I went over to my phone. And it said, what are you doing this evening? I said, I'm probably going to stay indoors and I'm going to watch a film and have a nice cup of tea and relax. So I got on with playing Scrabble Go, words in Scrabble Go, which I shared on Facebook. And um, I've been singing songs in Star Maker. I've got a good group of followers and I've got a fair amount of likes. So it's not that bad. This is in Star Maker, not YouTube. I've got quite a few followers. I've only joined it for a, a few days and I've got quite a few followers. So th these aren't people on YouTube listening. These are people on the actual app Star Maker that are listening to me singing. And I have quite a few followers already. YouTube is different to Star Maker because on Star Maker you've got novice singers and trying to, you know, develop their voices. Got all sorts, men, male and female. <laughs> but I share them on YouTube and I share them on Facebook and someone has decided to start bullying me and I'm not going to stop because of a few bullies. That's their problem. So I was in my flat, I was playing Scrabble Go, I was listening to YouTube videos in the background, I've had my lunch, the Tesco delivery driver came and you are entitled to say no to people that contact you uh, uh, and you don't, I, I mean they're fake profiles a lot of them so I'm just politely saying no thank you, there's nothing wrong with that, no thank you. I'm not, I'm not having it, I'm not being used for sex and I'm not being cajoled or bullied into doing something bad. That's not me. So it's been pretty bad this evening. So this guy asked me what I'm doing. I said um, I'm watching a film and I'm just having a cup of tea. And um, later on, he says, what film are you watching? I said, um, I'll probably put some horror film on. I'm a horror film fan. I watch old horror films. I said, maybe Dracula or, or something like that. They said, cool, C-O-O-L. So there's nothing wrong with that. Then um, they said, um, I'm, I'm, I'm off out in a moment. Do you want me to give you a call? 
and I don't want to take phone calls before I leave the flat because they hurt my face so I ignored it and I said where are you off to they said I'm off out to the pub like for a few jars so I said oh that's nice well uh, have a nice time and I wasn't nasty I just left it at that then I had trouble finding Max's collar. I wanted to take him out for his evening walk. I had trouble finding his collar. So eventually we got outside the door. 10 to 7 this was. And then I got outside. I had a hat on and my yellow hooded coat. Right? Because it's pissing down with rain and it's freezing. So I started walking along the path. And there was a couple walking to, together and she was a really pretty young lady walking with her boyfriend or husband in, out, obviously going out together. It's not Friday night, it's Thursday evening. Although I have been out on a Thursday night before to weather spoons with somebody, so you know. So I carried on walking and then I got so far and this woman went, where's my bag? And then she got into a car with her boyfriend or husband and they drove off. Two coloured guys got into a car shaped like the guy upstairs, Ford Mondeo. Two coloured men got into a, a, a car shaped like a Ford Mondeo. And um, I started to get agitated because I, I get panicky and anxious. But I kept myself together. I kept walking. And then I walked down towards the co-op and it was really, really busier than normal. Remember, it's pissing down with rain, it's freezing cold. There's a red car like my dad's Toyota Starlet flashing its lights and it's going in my eyes. It's parked like illegally. There could have been a car crash. It was parked illegally, but as its lights flashing, so I'm, I'm waiting for people to go into the co-op and, you know, I don't drive. I don't drive a bus. I don't drive a car. I don't drive a bicycle. I can't ride anything. So these people going in and out the co-op, I'm just taking it easy. I'm stood still. And obviously someone is trying to upset me and get, get me agitated because this guy is pinging on the phone when I'm trying to cross the road. I could have got run over. Um, I walked across the road, there was a white, like, coach. So perhaps we had some visitors to Rochester today, and that's why it was busy. Uh, outside the Rochester Riverside office was a long white coach. There was a dirty van opposite, all black and dirty like it needed a wash. And there was me, a bit out of breath, freezing cold, wanting to get indoors like trying to negotiate all this traffic. And this car comes down the road with a guy wearing glasses and he goes, Ugh! And I'm, it's like Bridget Jones's diary, you know. I'm stood there, I'm soaking wet, I'm freezing. I've got all these couples going out together, going out, and I feel like shit. I'm cold, I'm damp, I'm wet, I feel awful. I didn't lose my temper, I didn't shout, I just went all past it and then I came back into the flat. So everybody's going out on a Thursday night guys, they're going out, they're going out to the pubs together, they're up and down the path. Because somebody said to me, what am I doing tonight? I'm sat indoors, safe. What? I don't go out drinking, it's a waste of money. Alcohol poisons your liver, it does. Smoking can cause cancer. I'm not interested in putting poison into my body. I don't want it. It makes you off your head. You do something stupid, you regret it. You can end up pregnant. You can end up dead. You can end up in the gutter with your wallet robbed. If you're on your own, which I am. I will not be cajoled or badgered into doing things like that. Right? I was born sensible. 
So I've come back indoors and I'm just going to, we know what's going to happen at the weekend. He's going to have his kids upstairs and they're going to make a racket. Uh, uh, uh. I'm bidding on properties to move out of this place and I will succeed at some point next year or after. I cannot stand it. I want to go somewhere quieter, somewhere a bit more peaceful, where people my age live, not full of youngsters laughing at me. I don't like it. I can Im imagine how older people feel older than me trying to walk down the street. It's like something out of a movie. Ugh! And then a lovely pretty couple, you know, go walking down the path and I'm like Bridget Jones covered in mud and wet rainwater. So I've had to block everyone that's speaking to me on WhatsApp. It's every time I speak to someone off a dating site or my mother rings the phone. Then Facebook starts going off. And no, I'm no word of a lie, Mars Ugg. I don't think I'm that bad for a mum. M-A-R-Z-U-G, Mars Ugg, they've called themselves in Facebook. Ugly mother, Mars Ugg. Talk about fucking bullying left, right and centre. Somebody needs to grow up and why would you call yourself that? Mars Ugg, you're making yourself look a prat, mate, whoever you are. Group of women in that group as well, surprise, surprise. Group of women in that group. If you're Mars Ugg, you don't fucking advertise it, do you? Shame on you. How, you know, I had, a, I had a hat and a hood over my head. So how do they fucking know it's me walking down the street? They've got x-ray vision, have they? Well, I'm not going out tonight. I don't drink and I don't smoke. And anybody laughing at my teeth, I tell you now, if you're a smoker and you're taking a piss out of my teeth, you wait till 10, 15 years time and look at your fucking teeth in the mirror. Half of you won't have any. They melt your teeth. Fags. Melt your teeth. They go all black. No matter how much tooth whitening you use on your teeth, if you smoke, your teeth will go black. And you can laugh at me all you like. You know, someone taking the mickey out of my teeth that's bald and ugly. Thank you so much. When you take the piss out of someone, make sure you look like... Uh, make sure you look like um, Tom Cruise or Brad Pitt, not bloody Kojak. Idiot. Kojak with a beard, <laughs> taking a piss out of me. Right, I think I've had my say. Um, I'm going to keep singing because it develops my voice. I was bullied as a kid. I'm not being bullied now. I'm not going to make myself look a cunt outside shouting. If people want to shout abuse outside car windows, they're, they're the villains. And um, I'm just ignoring it. It's been going on for too long. Didn't see the driver. He, he, <laughs> I don't think I would have wanted to either. Keep on bullying and see where it gets you. One way ticket to hell. You shouldn't be listening to conversations inside my flat. Right? If you ain't going to talk nice and be nice, I don't want to speak to you. So for me, don't bother any fucker that's fake on Plenty of Fish texting me. 
either on WhatsApp or wherever, because you can fuck off now. You've had your chance and you've blown it. See you later. And whoever's calling me ugly, let me see your mother. Bye.